the title of this writing is Happy Endings. The Grasshopper offered this up a few years ago. If you're married to happy endings, you're destined for divorce. On first blush, it appears a statement of resignation, but after reflecting on it for a while, I find it to be a message of managing reality. A happy ending may be the goal, but happy never has been, nor ever will be, a permanent state. It comes and it goes. When it's here, it's to be celebrated and enjoyed. When it's gone, it's productive to create the environment for its return. Think of happiness that goes away as a bus that we got off at the wrong stop. We can fret over our misfortune and get burdened with our angst, but the reality is another bus is going to come along. Trying to capture happiness in a jar is like catching a firefly. Eventually, its light will go out. I think we spend too much time focused on how we can keep happiness in place rather than immersing ourselves in it while it's here. We spend our moments attempting to catch lightning bugs in a jar rather than enjoy the light they bring while they're here. You set yourself up for disappointment by attempting to be perpetually happy. No one is, and if they tell you they are, be prepared for them to try and sell you the amazing formula. Think snake oil. Creating the environment for happiness is having an optimistic mindset. That means to recognize there is a part of us that trusts that the bus is coming back again and that we'll hop on it when it comes to our stop. Warning. If something specific has to be in place for you to be happy, you may never see that bus again. I'll be happy when... Fill in the blank. That's a blank check that only buys unhappiness. For me, it feels better to be happy than sad, but life has taught me that both of these states are lifelong visitors. The trick is to notice the temporary nature of each and expect the less desired one to go away soon and the more coveted one to come around again. It's kind of like my mother said, if you're mad, you'll get glad again. All the best, John.